The Transportation Safety Administration is going through a major overhaul after some alarming findings. In 67 out of 70 trials, undercover agents successfully got past security with prohibited items like fake weapons and explosives. News Channel 15's Sarah Wagner has more from Studio 15. Fort Wayne International Airport has around 325,000 travelers go through security every year. Leaders there say there haven't been any problems, but they're ready to implement any changes the national agency hands down. The Department of Homeland Security is requiring TSA to immediately revise screening procedures, reevaluate screening equipment, and increase random testing in U.S. airports. The agency's management also changing. TSA's acting administrator, Melvin Carraway, is moving to a different job in Homeland Security. Acting Deputy Director Mark Hatfield will take over temporarily. 67 out of 70 is not a benchmark that anybody should be proud of, and it is concerning. Executive Director for Fort Wayne International Airport Scott Henderman says TSA hasn't said anything about the changes to local airports yet. Well, at this point, I don't think they should. Much of their concerns are internal processes. Well, the findings certainly aren't ideal. Henderman thinks it also highlights the agency's accountability. Isn't it also a good statement that their TSA has found it and they're doing something about it? They're looking for improvement. Even though TSA hasn't spelled out any new policies, Henderman says FWA is already taking proactive steps. We are doing good checks around the airport, both the air side and the land side. Henderman also wants to reassure travelers. He says if any changes come to FWA, they more than likely won't affect passengers. I don't believe anybody should be alarmed or modify their packing any differently and just be aware of the prohibited items and follow those procedures. In April, President Obama appointed Coast Guard Vice Admiral Pete Neffinger as his choice for TSA's next leader. The Senate has yet to confirm that nomination. In Studio 15, Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15.